hello guys and welcome back to my channel foul again in this video we are going to see how checkpoint tag analyze cfi info files what tools they use and how they think the network or how they understand the network just verifying the cfi info file so this video will be very informative so watch till the end now let's see the tool called diagnostic view application for the cp info let's see if you go to the checkpoint side and type cp info if utility with mention sk you will get the details how you can use cp info and what are the commands basically you need to run to get the cp info file there's a tool called diagnostic view or they call it diagnostic view utility which generally use to see the file and this is the sk and the details from where you can download this tool the tool name is diagnostic view now if you scroll down you will see the download package and if you download it you will get the file you need to install that maybe you require a, a checkpoint credentials now let's go for gateway and go to the expert mode and calculate or run command cp info dash z dash o to store the output and the name of the file which you need to generate so the name is cp info underscore sg let's keep this sr number we don't have any service request number here so just say yes here or enter to skip now it is collecting the cp info file so remember when you are dealing with the tag they request you the cp info file you have a choice you can you know download the cp info file from your gateway and upload it to the tag or you have a choice you can directly upload with respect to your ticket so as you see there is a sr number if you provide that sr number here this file get directly uploaded to the uh, checkpoint sftp or ftp server now this is the process how the file is uploaded to the checkpoint site so it may take some time to collect the information so i am just fast forwarding this video and i will show you how the file is uploaded to the checkpoint site so now the connection is getting established to the ftp server of the checkpoint and as you can see the file is getting uploaded so it's saying initiating connection to the user center is done generating list of the files to be uploaded done sending list of the files to the server done uploading cp info file uh, zip file and the upload process is in progress so as you can see the file is uploaded to the ftp proxy.checkpoint.com this is generally we do when we want to hand over the file zip info file to the tag and now i will show you how you can you know do both at the same time to download from your side and upload to the cp site so the command is similar just you have to give the path so cp info dash z dash n and dash o for the output now store it like var log location and then give it a file name what file name you want uh, the file and give it an uh, the path the way it should be acceptable so let's give it a name cp info underscore sg1 
uh, internal dot cp info okay let me see where the syntax is miss okay there's a small o yeah the rest is good receive and don't create receiving file like you so just try to remove that minus n and generate the file that flag is saying this is the checkpoint shipping for build and don't create a shipping profile minus n flag so let me rerun the command instead of the flag so just go for the cp info and just store that output to the var log and give it a name what file name you want to be so i'm just giving cp info underscore sg1 underscore internal dot cp info cp info is the extension for the cp info file if you don't know now this process will take some time so i am just fast forwarding this video and i will show you the rest of the part so now it's a uh, uploading file let's wait the file get uploaded to the sftp server and then i will show you the path where the file is stored So now I can see the file is also uploaded and it giving me a path where the file is stored. So we are just going to that path and from there we'll download the file and then I will show you the diagnostic view too, how you can use it. So let me go to the CD where log and ls and if you see uh, the file is present there so we need to download this file from the gateway using WinSCP. so let's do that so let me go to the new side give it a ip address of my gateway 192.168.1.101 username and the password let give it that details let me log in and say skip okay error saying that it should be this should be run from the bash uh, shell so we need to go to gateway and change shell for, to the bash shell and command is simple it's just you have to type chsh dash s bin bash space admin so it changed the cell for the admin to the bash and now we log in the thing and we are good to reach let's go to the where and log and from there to the cp info file and take this file to the system my pc and from there we'll run this file to uh, with the diagnostic virtual let's go to save somewhere
now let's go ahead and open diagnostic view tool from here you have to go to the uh, main menu and from there open and you have to give the file name and open once you do that the CP info file will be open into the diagnostic view tool as you can see on my screen and here you can see device hardware health and lot more details uh, all other details we are going to cover in upcoming videos I mean how you can use this diagnostic view tool to understand and do the troubleshooting of your customer or your network as you can see on my screen uh, for device details it has given everything for system details it has given everything so guys thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day